Kura, Talofa, Malile, Bula, Aloha, and welcome to Season 10, Episode 63 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovodigital.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports News on Tuesday morning, 3rd September 2024. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent where it is mostly cloudy and 21 degrees Celsius at 5 a.m. this morning. In Rugby Union, more than 30,000 Pacific Islanders are filling labor shortages through the Palm Scheme, working to send money back home to their families and to build savings. Many are bringing their homegrown love of rugby with them, and clubs in country New South Wales and Queensland in Australia say they're breathing new life into the sport's grassroots. In the uh, Taralga Tigers case, a club in a small bush town 200 kilometres south of Sydney, players from Fiji, Tonga, Samoa and Papua New Guinea have saved the club. In Rugby League, the Pacific Cup men's draw Friday, 18th October, Australia versus Tonga at Suncorp Stadium, Brisbane. Sunday, 27 October, New Zealand versus Australia at the Apollo Stadium in Christchurch. Saturday, 2nd of November, New Zealand versus Tonga at Go Media Stadium in Auckland. And on Sunday, 10th November, the final at Combank Stadium in Sydney. The Pacific Cup Women's Draw. Friday, 18th October, in Australia versus Papua New Guinea at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Sunday, 27th October, New Zealand versus Australia in Christchurch. And Sunday, 3rd November, Papua New Guinea versus New Zealand at uh, Santos Stadium in Port Moresby. And Sunday, 10th uh, November, is the final at Combank Stadium in Sydney. In boxing, Turkey Al Al Sheikh, chairman of the General Entertainment Authority of Saudi Arabia, plans to cut pay per view prices for his Riyadh season boxing events to encourage wider interest in the sport. His new pricing strategy begins with the World Light Heavyweight Champions fight between uh, Artur Bidabev and Dimitri Bivol on 12 October in Riyadh. Priced at £15 in the United Kingdom and available for free on ESPN Plus for US subscribers. For the most part, major fights in the US cost US $70 to US $90 on pay-per-view. In golf, world number one Scotty Scheffler crowned his remarkable season with a four-stroke win at the Tour Championship at East Lake Golf Course, golf club rather, in Atlanta on Sunday. With it, the American snagged the FedEx Cup bonus of US $25 million. Scheffler is the first player to win seven PGA Tour events in a year since Tiger Woods in 2007, and his remarkable season also included a Masters win and an Olympic gold medal in Paris. In Sportsbees, A bidding war, which lasted more than six hours, finally ended with Babe Ruth's called shot jersey from the 1932 World Series, recently selling at auction for US $24 million, making it the world's most valuable sports collectible, according to Heritage Auctions. The previous record for a piece of sports memorabilia was a Mickey Mantle 1952 Topps card, that sold for US $12.6 million. And at the US Tennis Open, be careful what you wish for. Um, China's Zheng Ginwen said, I like to play in the night session here in New York before her game against her 24th ranked Croatian opponent, who she beat in the Paris Olympics final four weeks ago. The 7 seed Zheng eventually won 7 6 4 6 6 2 to reach the US Open quarterfinals for a second time 
in a record late finish for a women's match of 2.15 a.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time on Monday in front of a few hundred sleepy spectators in the 24,000 capacity Arthur Ashe Stadium. Said Zheng, yawning afterwards, it's after two in the morning, thanks to the fans who stayed to support me. Probably mainly undercover cops from China, making sure that she didn't try to defect to the U.S. But that late, early morning finish in the Big Apple has nothing on the Australian Open, where a second round game this year ended at 3.39 a.m., Recently retired champion Andy Murray gave voice to those baffled by tennis's inability to fix its problem of ridiculous late-night finishes at Grand Slams. The tennis scheduling situation is a total mess, Murray said. It looks so amateurish having matches going on to 2, 3 and 4 a.m. Sort it out, he tweeted. Yeah, easy to say now that you're retired, Andy. They need the money, honey. And that's a wrap, peeps. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo and kakite for tableovodigital.com. I'm Carlton Kamir, thanking you all too much for all your love and support.